Okay, so as the title of this video suggests, I'm going to be showing you guys the most efficient ways to get your hands on a Vertex or the COFDM military radio. A lot of you are probably stuck right now on Lend Lease Part 2 because you can't find these items, or a lot of you might be like me and you're kind of stuck on Network Provider Part 1. I'm trying to get a light keeper and I need these two wireless signal transmitters, so I'm going to be showing you guys the run that I've been doing to get my hands on the two that I've needed so far. So we're going to jump Jump into an offline raid here and i'm going to show you guys all the spots that i check i'm going to show you all of the keys that you need and this is all going to be on lighthouse and real quick while we're loading in just wanted to give you guys sort of a life update for those of you who are wondering you know why i haven't been uploading so much recently i do live in south carolina and we did just get kind of hit by a hurricane i didn't have power at my house for like eight or nine days and then a couple more days after that with no internet so i haven't been able to upload any videos i haven't really been able to edit any videos so this is my first video coming back and i thought it would be a good one for you guys all right so we just spawned in we spawned in at the tunnel i'm kind of gonna go from one side of the map to the other basically starting from southern roadside honestly if you were doing this in an actual raid spawning over at southern road is probably going to be your best bet in terms of being able to hit as many spots as possible if you spawn over by water treatment i would just suggest going straight into water treatment and don't worry we will get to those spawns later but we're going to be starting over at the chalet so let me run my dumb ass up there real quick okay so the first place i want you guys to check right there is a helicopter over there is southern road first spot we're going to look at is this chair right here i have found vertexes and the military radios inside of this chair so that's a good spot to check and then we're going to make our way over to the chalet i refer to them as the good chalet and the bad chalet this one is the good chalet and please keep in mind, I'm only human, so I'm probably going to miss some different spawn points. If I miss anything, feel free to comment down below and let other people know. I'm not perfect. I don't know every single spawn in the game. This is just the run that I do when I'm looking for these things. So first thing I do when I come into the courtyard is head straight over to the garage. And then I check along this counter. There's going to be rare spawns and stuff like that. And then I check down here as well as over here and then if you want some weapon parts you can open this up and check back here we're gonna make our way inside the house come inside i'm gonna check left right here where this shirt is and then i'm gonna check right here on this pink towel and then right below it as well keep in mind that all these spots that i'm telling you guys to check are rare spawns not every single one you're gonna find a transmitter or a vertex but i kind of look at this run as that's the main focus we're looking for those things but also at the same time we're looking for other rare items to make some money so we're kind of doing a money run while looking for our quest items at the same time after checking those you're going to come in here and check on top of the table and then you're going to check in these two chairs i find the transmitters and vertexes in this chair quite often and then after that we're going to go upstairs here and we're going to search around on the floor on top of this box on top of the pool table we're going to look around here i found a vertex sitting right there before i found vertexes on this shelf just check around in this room it's a really good spot after that, I believe that's everything on this floor. I'm not really sure if there's any spawn locations over there, but if there is, leave a comment down below. We're gonna go downstairs and then take a left. And then over in this room, I have found vertexes on top of that. I always check over here. I don't believe I've found anything on top of these nightstands, but I always check anyways. Another good spot to check is in here. You can find Intel. There's a spawn somewhere in here. I wanna say it's like on top of this box, but not 100% sure. After that, we're gonna go downstairs take a right we're gonna go into the little hot tub here and there's a bunch of rare spawns on top of this dead body in trash bags i find the radio transmitters here all the time vertexes all the time bitcoins all kinds of good stuff very good spot to check everybody knows about that one though after that we're gonna go up the staircase and we're gonna check on top of these two boxes here i have found the radio transmitters here a bunch of times so that's gonna do it for the good chalet that is all the spawn locations that i know of again i'm probably gonna miss some feel free to correct me down below once we're done there we're going to make our way over to the bad chalet as i like to call it and there's only going to be two places that we're checking here and you're going to need keys for both of these inside of the chalet upstairs there are going to be two lock safes but before we go inside we're going to check inside of this box i always forget to check here but i do believe stuff spawns in there and you can find items that you're looking for we're going to make our way inside and immediately head on upstairs and then we're gonna go straight here, cut through this door, and right here is gonna be our first safe. Now these are not typical safes. You unlock it and they like physically open up and there's items inside of it. 
And there you go. And the two keys that you're going to need for this are the USEC Cottage first safe key and the USEC Cottage second safe key. So that's going to be those right there. So once you check that one, we're going to make our way over to the other side of the upstairs portion. And right here is the other safe. We're going to go ahead and unlock that and check inside. And boom, there you go. Most of the time, these are empty, but I mean, that's two extra spots that you can find what you're looking for. Keep in mind, this is an offline raid, so the loot is turned down by a lot. So what you're seeing in this demonstration here is not what it's actually going to be like. All right, so now that we're done with that cottage, we have kind of two options here on which way we want to go. I'm going to come over here so to give you guys a better visual representation. Basically, our next stop is either going to be Marin, which is over there, or the Hillside House, and that's going to be in that direction. Usually, what I do is cut across, hit Marin, come back over, hit Hillside, and then make my way over to the water treatment plant. So that's what we're going to do. You can run across the road here. Be careful. If you are a bear, I'm pretty sure you will get shot at by the rogues if you do this. So definitely be careful. We're going to cut across over here, go up this little hill, and in the parking lot is going to be a red car, as you see right in front of me, and that is going to be the Marin car key. So right here, Marin key, car trunk key, whatever you want to call it, this is the key that you need, and you just walk up to the trunk and hit unlock. I found all kinds of insane stuff in here, bitcoins, cash, look at that, vertex right there, perfect. We got a mule, so that's 200k. This is a very, very good spot to find vertexes and the military radios. If you spawn over here, make sure you come straight to Marion and be the first person to hit it. Usually, whoever spawns here is the one who hits it. If I spawn anywhere else, this is always open and looted. So after that, we're going to cut back across the road in the same direction that we came from. If you're a USEC, it's not a big deal if you kind of cut a little bit closer to the left here and make our way over towards Hillside House, because usually the rogues don't shoot at you unless you've pissed them off a couple of raids beforehand. But essentially, our next stop is going to be the Hillside House. All right, so we're coming up in the village. Right here on the left is going to be the Hillside House. And then there's a couple more houses going down this way. But we're going to be focused on the house over here. So we'll come in through this gate, come over to this door. And the key we're going to be looking for is going to be right here. Hillside house key for those of you who want to know. And we're going to go ahead and unlock this. Come on inside. And then basically just kind of look around and keep your eyes open for different items laying around. The only times I've ever seen something in this section of the house is going to be right down in here in the lower part of this nightstand. And then you come in here and I've found items on the floor and inside of this sink. But again, keep your eyes peeled, look around with the dynamic loot stuff can kind of be anywhere these days all right so that's it for hillside house now as far as these houses over here goes there is some tech spawns and things like that feel free to check in there i personally never do because i've never really found anything good in them and i just kind of think it's a waste of time but once we finish up with hillside house we are going to make our way over to water treatment plant I'm going to go ahead and pop this SJ6 and run my happy ass over there. And I'm going to show you guys all of the different spawn points inside of water treatment plant. So one thing I want to point out is if you are doing this run as a PMC, I would highly suggest you start over on this side of the water treatment plant. I don't know what it is. Something about going over to the left side just never works out for me as a PMC. The only time I go over to the left side is if I am a scab. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys take advantage of your scav as much as you can when you're running the water treatment plant. You are going to die a lot going in here. So I would personally rather die as a scav than as a PMC. But I am very, very desperate to find these two radios. I really, really want to get to Lightkeeper. And I think in total, I've spent about five days looking for these two radios. I found two on my first day and I haven't found another one since. So just keep that in mind. One thing that works really well for me as well is begging for them from player scavs. Some player scavs have no idea what they have. So I got one of mine that way. So basically just uh, you run into any other player scavs, just ask them if they got one and maybe they'll give it to you. 
Okay, enough talking. First thing we're going to do is come around the right side of this building. This is known as building three. As you can see, there's a giant three on the building. So we're going to jump on this box and come in here. And then what you want to be checking is down on this shelf, down over on this table, on the chair, basically anywhere that it looks like something can spawn over on this table as well. That was extremely loud. But I've found VPXs, military radios, vertexes, AESAs, all kinds of good stuff in this room. This is a great spot to check. And then after that, we're going to come out the store. And the first thing we want to check is inside of this box right here. If you see any broken box like this, always make sure to check inside because they do have rare spawns in them. After that, we're going to come in here, open this door. I've never actually found a vertex or a military radio in here, but I believe they can spawn in certain places, like maybe inside of this box or inside of this box. But I always check in here regardless, just because I think they can spawn in here, but I'm not 100% sure. After that, we're going to make our way over in this direction. We're going to come upstairs right here and there's another one of the broken boxes. So we will check that and then we're going to come down and I believe we are done in this building. Now, some people say there's more spawns here and there. I don't really know where else to look in this building. I've never really bothered with it. Maybe that's part of the reason why I've spent five days looking for these things. But if you know of any other spawns, again, leave it down in the comment section below. Once we're done in building three, we're going to make our way over to building two. Quick side note, if you're on a scav run, I would highly recommend going to the top of all of these buildings because there is in just an insane amount of ammo spawns on top of these buildings. You can find just really, really good ammos, some mid tier ammos in high quantities that you can sell on the flea. Like the amount of boxes of ammo on this map are just insane. Anyways, we're going to make our way into building number two now, and we're going to go through this door right here. First place we're going to check is this first room on the right. Check this shelf right here. There's a rare spawn. I've only ever found something one time, and it was one of the little bobblehead things. And then we're going to make our way out of this room all the way down to the right. And then we're going to be checking on this table. I found AESAs here, but nothing really other than that. I do know that the radios and vertexes can spawn here. So definitely, definitely check that spot. Once we're done there, we're going to come out this door right here and we're going to make our way across the hall. There is a key right here. I don't remember which one it is. We're going to check and this is going to be the water treatment plant storage room key. So we're going to come in here and I believe if you check on this box and on top of this box and maybe on this one as well and then down in this crate, that is going to be the spawn locations for the radios and vertexes. After that, we'll come over to this room, which is already unlocked. And I usually climb up in here and check down inside of this box. Stuff can spawn right there. And then you check over on this box as well. Once we're done there, we're going to make our way over towards building one. Another spot to check real quick is over by the burn barrel. There is stuff that lays on the floor here. I believe you can find vertexes and the military radios right there. And then we're going to make our way out of building two and we're going to go upstairs onto the roof so when i'm on a pmc and i'm looking for vertexes and military radios the only roof that i'm gonna go on is building two i personally do not like to spend a lot of time on the roof as a pmc because the rogues will literally aimbot you so this is the only one that i'm going on top of so what we're going to be checking is right here inside of this open crate and then on this section of the table both of those are good places to find vertexes and radios. And then you got some other loose spawns over here as well. Once we're done up there, we're going to make our way down and we're going to head over towards building number one. Don't worry, guys. I'm trying my best to make this as quick as possible, but there's a lot of places to check. And I want to make this as in-depth as possible and show you guys as many spawn locations as I possibly can. Of course, there's going to be timestamps down below. So hopefully that will help you guys navigate through this video a little bit but it is going to be a longer video. All right, so we made it over here next to building one. First thing we're going to check is right here inside this broken crate. Again, check all the broken crates that you see. And then we're going to come in this door right here and make our way down to this first room on the right. On top of this table is going to be spawns for VPXs, RFIDs, vertexes. Again, all the same stuff that we've been talking about this whole video. Then I come down here and check on top of the tables again, just for some medical items, stuff like that. We're going to come out this door right here, take a quick detour up the stairs and into this room. And we're going to check on this shelf. You can find GPUs and stuff like that there. 
and then we're going to come over and hit this room which is the or key so we'll go ahead and pull that out and i will show you guys what that looks like operating room key is what you need you're going to come in here and you're basically just going to look around check everywhere stuff can spawn basically anywhere in this room there's a dead scav here sometimes so you can check him as well and then just look around this room and you might be able to find what you're looking for after we're done there we're going to come back over to this side of the building we're going to run down this little side I usually check in this area i don't think it spawns the items that we're looking for but i just check it anyways and then over here on top of these boxes on the floor as you can see we got an egg right here check this whole area i've found military radios and vertexes there quite often after that we're going to come outside first thing we're going to do is check this broken box right here and then we're going to make our way over to these little trailer looking things and then there's another broken box right here once you're done there, I like to come back down this way. Makes it a little bit easier. The first thing we're going to do is head over towards this truck. There's going to be a broken box right in front of it. Right here, we're going to check this. And then we're going to come inside of this tent and look around on the table on top of those little shelves right there. And then right here, I believe, is a tank battery spawn. So if you're looking for a tank battery, you can probably find one there. After that, we're going to make our way past this tent and we're going to go over to this little connex right here. And inside of it is going to be a open box. I found a ton of vertexes right there. And we're going to jump over right here. If I can get my stamina up and we're going to run up this little tower right here. The only spot we're going to check up here and check right here on the floor. There's going to be rare spawns and spawns for the items that we're looking for. Really, the only thing I've found there is the golden skull rings. I haven't really found anything else. Once we're done here, we're going to come down and then we're going to make our way into the center of this. Whatever this is, I don't even know, to be honest with you. And there's going to be another open box right here. Personally, in all of the runs that I've done, I've never found anything in here, but who knows maybe one day i'll get lucky and find what i'm looking for once we're done there we're going to make our way over to this tent and we're going to be checking on top of all of these surfaces right here and then we're going to make our way over to this other tent and we're going to check on these shelves right here on top of the toolboxes on the couch over here basically checking anywhere that items can spawn on top of it once you're finished there Come over here, another broken box. I find some decent items in there sometimes. And then one of the last places we're gonna check is over here on the tower. So you come over to this tower where the rogue sits on the AGS. And right down here is gonna be another one of those open boxes. Check inside of there and you will find the items you're looking for. Okay, so that is basically gonna do it for inside of the water treatment. I have two or three more spawns I wanna show you guys and it's over in the train yard. So I'm gonna run over there real quick and we will resume once I get there. Okay, so we're walking past building two right now and we are gonna make our way over towards the train yard. One thing I wanna mention is be careful. There is a rogue that sits on a gun right there. So if he's up, he will probably clap your cheeks. But we're going to come in this gate right here. And the first thing we're going to do is head over towards the drug lab. And there's a couple spawns in here that we like to check. Honorable mention here, stems can spawn in here as well. So if you're looking for some of those stems that you need for samples, this is a good spot to check too if you're in the area. We're going to come in here and the first thing we're going to do, I check these shelves. I've never seen anything on them, but... I, it just kind of catches my eye when I come in, so I check it anyways. We're going to be focusing on these boxes right here inside of this one and down here on top of that one. Maybe down here as well. I haven't seen anything right there. The only thing I've seen here was a slickers bar that spawned right on top of that. But after that, we're going to make our way over here. Check on top of this chair. On top of this table, there's going to be some food items. So if you need food, here's a good spot to check. And then there's a bunch of spawns on this couch. The only thing I found here is stems, but from what I understand, vertexes and stuff can spawn right there as well. And then we're going to come over here and check on top of this table. I haven't seen anything here, but I check it anyways, just out of habit. All right, so once we're done in the drug lab, we're going to come out. We're going to run all the way down past that big connex right there that you see in front of me. Once we pass the connex on the back of this truck, right here, as you can see, there are two broken boxes. Hop up here, check inside of this one, jump down right here, and check inside of this one. And that is going to be the last two places that I check on my runs. Normally, I will have Northern Checkpoint, and I will just leave out of there on my PMC. If I have a scav, I will leave over by the Industrial Zone gate, 
It's super, super easy. You can get out of here pretty quickly on a scab or a PMC. I personally like running this as a scab because it is very risky going in water treatment. And if I'm going to be dying a lot, I'd rather be dying a lot on my scab and basically get free runs just looking for those two quest items that I need. Anyways, that is every single spawn that I can possibly think of off the top of my head for where you can find the military radios or vertexes. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions on where you can find these things on other maps or some spots that i miss i know i've said it a hundred times but please leave it down in the comments below i want to make this as easy as possible for people to see this video and just know exactly where to look for these things because they are a huge pain in the butt anyways that's going to do it for this video hopefully it helps you guys out and i'll see you in the next one